Our next topic will be about applications of the derivatives. So there are two main applications of derivatives. The first one is the maxima minima and the second one is the time rates. The maxima minima, this application involves only the dimensions and time is not involved while in the time rates, time is the independent variable. And so for example, a rectangular field is to have an area of 3,600 meters squared. Find the dimensions of the field if it is to be enclosed by the least amount of fencing. So kung gusto mong magtipid sa fencing mo, sa rectangular field mo, na may area na 3,600 meters squared, kailangan nating hanapin yung length at width ng iyong rectangular field. So, using the formula in finding for the area of a rectangle, that is length times width. And so, given length times width is equal to 3,600 meters squared. And then, for the perimeter, the perimeter is the sum of all the dimensions of, our, of your rectangular field. And so, ito yung kailangan nating i-consider para sa amount ng fencing mo. So, substituting the value of W... Since here, we can find for the value of W when we divide both sides by L. So, W is equal to 3,600 over L. So, sinubstitute natin siya sa formula ng perimeter. And then, distributing 2, that is 2L plus 7,200 over L. And then, differentiating perimeter with respect to L. So, that is 2 plus Using the quotient rule, that is L times 0, the derivative of numerator, minus 7,200 times the derivative of denominator. So that is 1, and then squaring our denominator, L squared. Simplifying and considering that our differential of perimeter with respect to our L will be equal to 0. So that is... 0 is equal to 2 minus 7,200 over L squared. And so transferring 2 from right, right to left of our equation and then multiplying negative, that will be 2 is equal to 2, 7,200 over L squared. And then cross multiplying, that is 2L squared is equal to 7,200 dividing both sides by 2, that is 3,600. And so our L is the square root of 3,600 which is 60 meters. And for our width, the W, we have 2 divide 3,600 by our L, which is 60 meters. So our width is 60 meters also. So the dimensions of the rectangular field, if you want to be enclosed it by the least amount of fencing, is 60 by 60 meters. The second one. Example of maxima minima, the sum of two numbers is k, find the minimum value of sum of their cubes. So let x is equal to the first number, y is the second number, and s is the sum of their cubes. And for, from the first statement, the sum of the two numbers is k, so that is x plus y is equal to k. And then from here, we can find for the value of y, which is k minus x and for our second equation the sum of their cubes is equal to s so x cubed plus y cubed is equal to s and then substituting for the value of y from the first equation substituting for the value of y from the first equation that is k minus x quantity of k minus x cubed and then Differentiating s with respect to x, that is 3x squared plus 3 times k minus x squared using the power rule and then deriving the quantity itself, that is negative 1. And then equating the differential of s with respect to x to 0, that is 0 is equal to 3 times 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 3 times the quantity of k minus x squared. And then, since common yung 3, so, i-divide natin yung buong equation natin ng 3. And then, transposing x squared from left to right and then multiplying negative 1 to our equation, this is the result. And then, finding for the square root of both sides since common yung square exponent natin. So, that is x is equal to k minus x. 
and then combining x that is 2x is equal to k and then our x is k over 2 and then if we are going to find for y we have to substitute our x here from our first equation our x which is k over 2 so k minus k over 2 is equal to k over 2 also so this is the value of x and y and then we have to take note for those values if we are going to if we are going to solve for the sum of their cubes we have to substitute for the values of x and y so that is k over 2 cube plus k over 2 cube or k cube over 8 plus k cube over 8 or that is equal to 2k cube over 8 and then simplifying the sum of their cubes is equal to k cube over 4. The next one, a box is to be made of a piece of cardboard 9 inch square by cutting equal squares out of the corners and turning up the sides. Find the volume of the largest box that can be made in this way. So illustrating the problem, if we are going to have a cardboard, a square cardboard which is 9 by 9 inches and we have to cut a small square from the four corners so that the side of our small square is x and yung matitira sa side na ito is equal to 9 minus 2x kasi sa, from one side which is a total length of 9 and then may dalawang x ako so yung matitira na lang dito is 9 minus 2x and the same din sa kabilang side and then if we are going to turn the sides up from the cut corners, makakabuo tayo ng isang box na open yung itaas. So, yung side na ito, yung length niya is 9 minus 2x, yung, yung width niya is 9 minus 2x also, but yung height niya is equal to x, yung side na nakat natin na maliit na square. And then, using the formula in finding for the volume of a box, which is length times width times height, we have to substitute the values of these three. So that is 9 minus 2x times 9 minus 2x times x. And then combining these two quantities into one exponent. So that is 9 minus 2x squared. And then deriving the volume with respect to x. That is x times using the power rule that is 2 times 9 minus 2x and then deriving the quantity itself that is negative 2 plus copying the second term that is 9 minus 2x squared times deriving x that is equal to 1. And so equating the, der the derivative of v with respect to x to 0 that is equal to negative 4x times the quantity of 9 minus 2x plus 9 minus 2x squared. And then factoring out the quantity in 9 minus 2x, since this is common to our two terms, that is 9 minus 2x times the remaining variable from our first one, which is negative 4x plus 9 minus 2x. And then combining these two, negative 4x minus 2x is equal to negative 6x. So from algebra, using this quantity, 9 minus 2x, we can already find for the x sub 1 which is 9 over 2 and for the x sub 2 that is 3 over 2 because 9 minus because 9 divided by 6 is 3 over 2 and then we have to take note of those values from the formula of the volume that is length times width times height and then using the values of 9 minus 2x and x substituting for the first value of x which is 9 over 2 so this will result to zero so our volume is zero which is invalid since there is no zero volume and for our second volume we have to try for the x sub 2 value the three halves so this will be equal to six times six times three halves or that is 54 cubic inch so this is our final volume and the second x, which is 3 halves, is the most applicable value of our x.
Next is for the examples for time rates, water is flowing into a vertical cylindrical tank at the rate of 24 feet cube per minute. If the radius of the tank is 4 feet, how fast is the surface rising? Illustrating this, this problem, so a water is flowing at a rate of 24 cubic feet per minute and the radius of the cylindrical tank is 4 feet and then let the height of the water is h and then we have to find for the change in height with respect to time so from the given the derivative of the volume with respect to time is equal to 24 feet cube per minute so 24 feet cube per minute is our dv over dt and then from the formula of the volume of the cylinder that is equal to pi r squared times h and then substituting for the value of r which we have 4 feet and simplifying that is 16 pi h and then deriving the derivation of the volume with respect to time and derivation of height with respect to time and dv over dt is equal to 24 dividing both sides by 16 pi 3 over 2 pi feet per minute or in decimal form that is equal to 4.71 feet per minute this is the change in height with respect to time the fifth one a ladder 20 feet long leans against a vertical wall if the top slides downward at the rate of 2 feet per second find how fast the lower end is moving when it is 16 feet from the wall illustrating the problem and so, for example, may ladder tayo dito na nakasandal sa wall and nag slide itong ladder na ito from right to left and then downwards also. Yung rate ng downward slide niya is negative 2 feet per second since yung direction niya is pababa so magiging negative siya. And so, we have to find for the rate kung gaano kabilis yung pag-slide niya with respect to our x-axis. And from the given value, the dy over dt is negative 2 feet per second. Using the Pythagorean theorem, that is x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared since our hypotenuse is the length of the ladder itself. And then deriving, that is 2x dx over dt plus 2y dy over dt is equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 2, this is the remaining terms and using this value which is 16 feet from the wall that is the x from the x-axis from the origin of the x-axis 16 feet from the wall we have to use that as an x value from our Pythagorean theorem and so 16 squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared in order to find for the value of y which we are going to substitute in this equation and y squared is equal to 400, 20 squared is equal to 400, and then 16 squared is equal to 256, and at the same time transposing it from left to right. And so our y squared is equal to 144, and then taking the square root of both sides, that is equal to 12. And since our x is 16, our y is 12, and our dy over dt is negative 2, we can already solve for the rate of x with respect to time or the differential of x with respect to time. And so 16 times dx over dt plus 12 times negative 2 is equal to 0. That is equal to 1.5 feet per second. Our rate, this is the speed of the lower end of our ladder. A kite is 40 feet high with 50 feet of cord out. If the kite moves horizontally at 5 miles per hour, directly away from the boy flying it, how fast is the cord being paid out? So illustrating this problem, so let the length of the cord is equal to x and then the speed of the kite horizontally is 5 miles per hour that is dx over dt or the differential of x with respect to time. And then, 
our height has a fixed height which is 40 feet and so we have to find for the value of the differential of s with respect to time or ds over dt if our dx over dt is equal to 5 miles per hour so using the pythagorean theorem also since our y is 40 and so substituting to the Pythagorean formula that is x squared plus 40 squared is equal to s squared. Differentiating that is 2x dx plus dt plus 0 is equal to 2s ds over dt. Then factoring out 2 this is the result and then solving for x if our s is equal to 50 from our Pythagorean theorem. So that is x squared plus 40 squared is equal to 50 squared. And then x squared is 2500 minus 1600. And then x is equal to the square root of 900 which is equal to 30. And so we have to substitute 30 to our x, 50 to our s, and 5 to our dx over dt in order to find for the value of the differential of s with respect to time, this is the speed of the cord being paid out. So x is 30, our dx over dt is 5, our s is 50, and ds over dt is unknown. And so ds over dt is equal to 3 miles per hour. So this is the speed of the cord being paid out as the kite flies directly away from the boy. So that is it for your questions, comment down on the Schoology and for our next topic, this is all about the differentials.